Hello, my name is Christopher Scott, and I write about the Bible, theology, and leadership at ChristopherScottBlog.com. And today I'm bringing you a brief devotional from the book of Philippians in chapter 3 about how our righteousness is through Jesus Christ. So I'm going to read from the New Living Translation of Philippians 3, verses 7 through 11, about the righteousness uh, that Christ gives to us. So, Philippians 3, 7 through 11. Paul writes, I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, that so that one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. So Paul writes these uh, words, writes this letter to the people in Philippi uh, from prison, and he pretty much talks about the three aspects of our salvation or the three aspects of our righteousness that we get through Christ. In verse 9, he talks about justification. In verse 10, he talks about sanctification. And in verse 11, he talks about glorification. Okay, so verse 9, sanctifi uh, justification. Paul writes in verse 9, I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith alone. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. This is justification. Um, the, it is based on our faith. We are made righteous with God and before God. And the, uh, the analogy I like to use on this one is kind of like a judge is the common analogy. Each analogy kind of breaks down uh, as you look at it more closely. But when we look at justification, God is kind of the righteous judge. And he declares that we are righteous based on our faith in him. That's the judge idea that goes along with justification. Then in verse 10, it talks about sanctification, okay? Where it says, I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, right? So this is the ongoing spiritual life that Paul experiences, sanctification of becoming more and more like Christ through suffering. And the analogy I like to use there is kind of like the counselor relationship that a believer might have with a counselor. Um, you go to that counselor to share things, to grow, uh, to improve your life and improve your walk with Christ, right? So justification is the judge. Sanctification is the counselor. And then on to glorification in verse 11, Paul writes, So that one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. This is the end times glorification perfect body that we get, our resurrected body. And I like to think of this kind of like the uh, beauty parlor or hairstylist uh, that we go there. Maybe like an actor or an actress kind of goes into the makeup room and gets all dolled up. This is the very end perfect result, um, which is often called glorification. So... This is Paul talking about our righteousness through Jesus Christ uh, based on justification, sanctification, and glorification in Philippians chapter 3, verses 7 through 11. If you want a more uh, detailed explanation of these verses, you can go below into the description and find a link to my blog post where I do a verse-by-verse, clause-by-clause commentary, and you can get some more helpful tools there. So I hope this devotional was helpful to you. My name is Christopher Scott. Uh, you can find more information on the Bible, theology, and leadership at ChristopherScottBlog.com. Thanks for watching and hope to catch you again on another video.